assortment of air filters for your home or office. They can even special order. Harris Ace is your hometown Yeti dealer. Plus, they carry Coastal Damar and Calcutta sunglasses. And check with Harris Ace for all your painting needs. Harris Ace will not be beat on price and will match any competitor's price. The helpful place, Harris Ace Hardware in Jessup, Eudonia, and Hinesville. Time now for the latest in local sports and sports high school basketball teams in action this weekend. Both games on the road Friday and Saturday. Tonight they're at Brantley County, then Saturday over at Long County. Game time Saturday in Long County, 6 and 7.30. Tonight's games get underway at 6.30 at 8 for the boys. Teams back home the following Friday and Saturday, hosting East Lawrence on Friday a week from tonight, December 8th, and then hosting Long County a week from Saturday, December 9th. First region game of the season. Not until Friday, January 5th, when Statesboro is the opponent. Again, have the full recap for you Monday on local sports. But again, both teams, or both games this weekend on the road tonight at Brantley, Saturday at Long. High school football semifinal game set for this Friday night. And here are your matchups to see who wins and makes it to the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium next weekend. In 7A football tonight, the matchups are Colquitt at Brookwood, McEachin at North Gwinnett. In 6A football, it's Coffee at Tucker, Glen Academy at Lee County. In 5A football, it's Buford at Rome and Carver of Atlanta at Warner Robins. In 4A football, it's St. Pius at Maris and Blessed Trinity at St. I'm sorry. It's St. Pius at Maris and Blessed Trinity at Mary Persons. In Triple A football, it's Peach County at GAC, Calhoun at Cedar Grove. In Double A is the semifinal games, Brooks County at Rabin County, Hapeville at Heard County. In Single A Private, it's Prince Avenue at ELCA and Mont Perrin Christian at Athens Academy. And in Single A Public, it's Mount Zion at Clinch and Emanuel County at Irwin County. Again, the winners of tonight's games head to the Dome next weekend. The games are set for December 8th and 9th. All finals games will be televised by Georgia Public TV. We've got Georgia Southern football tomorrow afternoon here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5 as they close out the regular season with a 1 o'clock game at Coastal Carolina. And the pregame will get underway at 12. Kickoff at 1 tomorrow here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. Eagles and their new head coach, Chad Lunsford, looking for their third straight win to close out the regular season. Championship weekend begins tonight. The Pac-12 championship games tonight between USC and Stanford. Then Saturday, the championship day, to see who gets in, who's left out of the playoff picture. Dogs have to take on Auburn Saturday at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. SEC championship on the line, a trip to the Final Four on the line. Dogs with a mulligan against the Tigers. The Tigers won their first meeting this season at Auburn, but this game will be in Atlanta. And place will be rocking Saturday. Auburn a little bit banged up. Again, SEC title game tomorrow, 4 o'clock, Georgia and Auburn. Saturday night, ACC title game between Clemson and Miami. Also, the Big Ten championship game tomorrow night between Wisconsin and Ohio State. Also, Saturday, 12 noon, the Big 12 title game between TCU and Oklahoma. Again, after the dust settles, the championship show will be set for Sunday afternoon. And again, they'll announce all the bowl matchups as well. Dallas Cowboys kept their playoff hopes alive last night. Nice Thursday night win over Washington. Final score 38-14. Falcons and Jaguars look to do the same. Win and stay alive in the playoff chase. Both teams are at home this Sunday. Jacksonville at 1 o'clock at home against the Indianapolis Colts. The Falcons at home in Atlanta on Sunday hosting Tampa Bay. We'll have both games this Sunday. Falcons on Big Dog Country and the Jaguars on AM 1370. Round 2, 3, and 4 this weekend in the Hero Challenge Golf Tournament. Where Tiger Woods is competing once again, shot a three hundred par on Thursday. If he plays well today, he'll be around for the weekend. Tommy Fleetwood leads at six hundred par, then it's Ricky Fowler and Matt Kuchar at five hundred par, and Tiger looking to make the cut, move up that leaderboard today. And the Men's Golf Association, the Pine Forest Country Club, installed their new officers last night for the year. Pete Pye, the upcoming president for two thousand eighteen, and replaces Bob Knight, who served the past two years. The meeting held last night at the Pine Forest Country Club. Nice steak dinner. The menu next meeting will be after the first of the year. Now that meeting, yearly dues will be paid. Again, membership into the Men's Golf Association, $75. Best bargain in town. Four meals, all steaks. Good fellowship, good golf. And best of luck to Pete Pye, the new president of the Pine Forest Men's Golf Association. That's going to do it for latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware. Enjoy the spirit of giving by getting the cash you need from First Franklin Financials.